Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I've been waiting for this moment since Bauma, folks, in 2023, when I came to see the Revo truck. This is now the production model of the Revo truck, but the executive hire show, and it is ready to go. So remember, folks, what we talked about before, revolutionary new truck from Mechalec, Perkins powered engine in there for optimization of performance. But now it's time to get down from the seat and talk to the expert from Mechalec UK. So follow me down as we come down from, oh, by the way, folks, new steps that have been introduced here. Oh, by the way, folks, they've now got these new mirrors. Oh, I can see myself quite nicely in that one. So now I'm joined by Adam Phillips, Mechalec UK. Adam, Hi. you have won announced today that you've sold some of these trucks. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're yep. coming into the market right now. Yep. And um, the, the real benefits for people that ha don't know this product, yeah. um, what are they? It's the evolution of the multi-view dumper concept. Yep. So instead of just having, um, you know, two positions, we now have multiple positions. So you can operate, you know, when you're filling a trench, you can look directly at, at the work you're carrying out. You've got multiple points of access. So yep. for operators in and out, safety, slips, trips, and falls, it's a big, big concern on site. So it makes it as easy as possible for those operators getting in and out. And obviously with the cab rotating hydraulically, it's very low stress on the operator as well. So again, making their, their comfort and safety is a key priority with this machine. And of course, you know, when we look at this visibility, you, like you said, you're talking about spinning around to, to actually get the, yep. the, the truck in the right spot. You're also then talking about spinning around to actually then travel, you know? Yeah, of course. And the, the, the most critical thing with, with any new product like this is actually the user interface. It, it is, yeah, of course. So when we talked to one of your colleagues um, back at Baumer, you were talking about optimizing this machine with yep. the Perkins engine. Yeah, of all course. All of the different types of application that it might be doing. Yeah. That's important from a fuel yeah, saving of course perspective, it is. isn't yeah. it? Because you know, when, when a customer is looking at the use of a machine on site, it isn't just whether it's safe. It's got to remain efficient, cost effective for their for their for their site use. So yeah, the, it's it's the whole package really is, is considered for this machine. And inside the machine, they've got a tablet, folks, where you can play around with the settings. And also, you know, we're talking about lighting again yeah, of course, on, yeah. on new machines like this. LED lighting. Yeah, and, work lights front and back. And it allows you to work safer as of well course, on the yeah. job site. More illumination around the machine. Definitely. Yeah, and you know, sites they're not just open in the day. Nope. You know, road works, night jobs. It's it's essential to have good ro good work lights and uh, good road lighting for that for those purposes. Now, talking earlier to someone who was interested in this, they were saying, right, actually, the the articulation and the way this machine <laughs> moves yeah. around yeah. is different oh, to very others different. on the market. Yeah, it isn't is. it? Tell me a little bit about that. So, we've gone away from the traditional articulated chassis. So. One of the fundamental flaws with an articulated dumper is as it turns, the yep. center of gravity shifts. Right. So that makes the machine more unstable in that turned position. <coughs> so by going to a rigid chassis with four wheel steering, the center of gravity remains consistent and constantly in the same place. So naturally, when you're working in difficult conditions, the machine is more consistent in how it behaves. And naturally, that adds to the safety of the machine when working in those conditions. Um, and the four wheel steering then gives us far more maneuverability than an articulated chassis can as well. So we can work in far smaller spaces than a standard dumper typically would as well. Let's come around that because you can see how tight we are to the building here, folks. This is actually a big dumper, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's from, a nine ton. It's, you know, it's, it's a nine ton dumper. And when we look at the front, it doesn't feel no, like not at that, all. does it? No, it doesn't, and, no. And that's really important. So you talked there about the articulation, but also some little points that I've noticed, folks, since the uh, Baumer thing in 2023 is, I know it sounds a little thing, but I love engineering, yeah. right? <laughs> Here, we have got some new steps and they are slightly slanted yep. with their own little gutter mechanism, folks. Yeah, you've got that, to keep the again, water in the mud draining off. It is, it it's, it's really yep. important. We all know that the biggest thing on sites with dumpers like this, with, with accidents yep. on machines, is getting on and off the machine. Yeah, it is. They're yeah. in the dirt, you yeah. know, oh, yeah. a lot of the yeah. time. And so simple things like that in engineering really important. And then, of course, you know, we talk about the small nature of it. Come around here, folks. The reason why we're able to get so compact is the engine from Perkins inside here is a real compact, powerful it engine, is, yeah. which delivers all of the things that you need on a stage five engine but in a small compartment. So yeah, that's again, really important. It is, it? yeah. When it comes to 
you know, yeah, well, visibility, etc. It is because if you can keep your your engine and transmission packaging small, it then allows you to open up the visibility in places where you wouldn't necessarily have been able to with a bigger power power unit in the machine. So yeah, it's it's all part and parcel to making the best visibility possible. And of course, it helps them evolve with the Revo trip, folks. <laughs> um, and so, you know, capacity of the skip um, here again, run yep. that by us. So this one's a nine ton. We yep. also offer a six ton as well. Right. Six ton, a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter. So if you're somewhere really tight, it's going to give you that little bit more benefit in terms of maneuverability and compactness. Right. But naturally, with the, geom with the geometry of the steering on this, it's a far more maneuverable machine than a typical dumper anyway. So typically you find dumpers on all different sites, but yep. house building is really important of for course, a dumper yep. product like this. And so when you were saying to me earlier, it's about the way in which you can drive this yes. can get really tight in. So those yep. confined areas yep. where you're needing to work and be closer to the yep. dumping of material yeah, instead of, of having to shift it or or, yeah. or doze it with with a dozer blade on an excavator, for example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that allows you to work slightly differently, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It just it allows you to be more efficient ultimately. Yeah. If you're using one machine to move material from point A to point B, you don't want to move it then to point C afterwards. Yeah. So if you can get into where that material needs to go more efficiently, it, it's a big benefit to your worksite. So naturally, this machine is made to be as maneuverable, as uh, have as much tractive effort as possible to work in those difficult conditions that you might see on a, on a house building site. So remember folks, it is the Revo Truck 9 ton machine made in Coventry, literally a few miles away from where I'm stood right now and the Executive's Hire Show, but also powered by an engine made in the UK. So it's about time we saw a lot more of them in the UK being more profitable, being more sustainable and reducing the fuel burn for people on the job site, thanks to that Perkins engine, all here in the UK.